the most important thing is to do what we do, but do it better every single time. You have to believe in what you do, and you do it with a good heart, then I think that will always come over. Hello everyone, I'm Tan France. Last season, you saw me crisscross the US helping small businesses overcome their marketing challenges. Well, this season, these entrepreneurs are using their creativity to overcome obstacles like never before. But let me warn you, this episode is about to make you very hungry. We're going to meet third generation restaurateur Giovanna who runs and owns Yosemi Deli in Glasgow, Scotland. We've been working with her to reach a younger audience through Instagram. And well, let me tell you, I spend most of my day binging food stories on there. Welcome to Boost My Business. I am Giovanna Yosebis. This is Yosebis deli and restaurant in Glasgow's West End. We are a third generation family business, born in Italy, but made in Scotland. There's a lot of emotion behind our food. Generations of really strong women in our family who passed down their recipes. So it's almost like even though they're not here, they're still a part of our DNA. And people say that they feel that when they come in. It's something that you can't see in a business plan. It's just, you feel the love when you come in here. Ciao, buongiorno. Hello, hi Giovanna, how are you? I'm great, Tan, how are you? Giovanna, I'm excited to talk to you because one of my favourite things in the world is food. You are a third generation restauranter. The business was started by my parents, but my great grandmother came here when she was 16. Um, and we've always been in food. Food and family are really, really important for us. You're obviously going through what the rest of the world is going through as a small business owner. COVID hit, your business was affected. We've obviously had to change our business model and look at a different route to market. So now we've gone online, we use delivery partners. And just recently the restaurant opened again, but obviously we have reduced covers. So one of the things that we spoke about as a team was that the first people who would come back into the restaurant would be a younger demographic. And we had to sort of kind of rethink how we told our story now a bit, but still not changing our product. Something that your grandparents would be proud of. Yeah, I hope so, I hope so. Hi, Shinaz. Hey, hi, Tan. How are you doing? Shinaz, you've obviously met Giovanna. So Giovanna is so, so lovely. She has a really lovely warmth about her. That really comes through in Eusebi's as a brand. So what's the hope? What point are we trying to get her to? I recommended she try to create ads for Instagram stories. We know that the younger audience are on Instagram, but also food photography does really well on Instagram. So the creative strategy that we really led with was filling that frame with everything that is Eusebi. She chose the meatballs and she cooked it all up into this beautiful skillet. We enhanced the home cooked feel of that dish with some props to really bring in that texture and imagine that we are in Eusebi's kitchen with Giovanna herself. Shinaz, that's all I needed. Good luck making sure that she stays on top of this and really sees some changes in her business. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tan. Bye. Be sure to use props, interesting angles, great backgrounds to make your creative a lot more professional. And set up your photo near a window or use some lights to really enhance your final asset. Hi Giovanna, how are you doing? Hi Shanaz, how are you? Well done on the creative that you shot. I saw it and it looks really, really beautiful. We've already done some of the hardest bits right there. So we're making ads for Facebook and Instagram. We want to remember three key things. The creative, the copy and the customer. Let's talk a little bit about what kind of copy that we could add to this photo that you've taken. I always struggle to capture it because it's about emotion. It's about generations of love around a table. And making from scratch is really, really important. That's fantastic, Giovanna. So how about made from scratch from our table to yours? Perfect. That's us. That's, that's, that's everything that we are. So just take out your phone and add in that copy. OK. Okay, so we can't just stop there. 
We need a really clear call to action to let the audience know exactly what they need to do next. Go for it. So we can just do something really simple here, like swipe up to order. Perfect, that's absolutely perfect. You're gonna save this onto your camera roll, hit the promote button and select get more website visitors. Now let's go ahead and choose a demographic and a location. So I think that we should go for a five mile radius from Eusebi so that people can actually come and pick up their takeaway order. Okay. And I know that you want to reach a slightly younger audience. So let's start with an age range of 25 years old, going all the way up to around 40 years old. Now let's set a budget for this. So how about we start with 22 pounds a week and we can always adjust that as we go along. Let's optimize and adjust as we go. Okay, great. So you're pretty much there. All you have to do now is hit promote and you're done. Here we go. That's it, it's off, it's out there. It's in the universe. Thank you so much, Shanaz. Okay, fantastic. I'm really proud of what you've achieved. So what I want you to do from now is carry on posting. Try maybe a few different dishes from the menu. Just have a lot of fun. I wonder what my great grandmother would think of this, you know, that, that you know, her recipe now is, it's one click away and people are seeing it and then buying it and off it goes, so it's so cool. Thank you, Giovanna. Thank you for being an incredible collaborator. You've been great to work with. Bye from Glasgow. Take care, bye. Make it easy for your customers to order from you with just a few taps and without having to leave Instagram. Hello, hi Giovanna, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right, how's things? Good, okay, tell me about it. I want to know how the campaign went, if you got that younger audience that you were hoping to get. It definitely had an impact on sales and measurability was really, really important. So I turned off the airwaves that week. I didn't send any mail out, any discount coupons, just with the ad to see what the impact was. And so we looked at our online and we noticed that our sales were up by 17%. Good. So the great thing was my target group were responding well. I love that you have the data to support the success of the campaign and the results, but I want to know how it feels. I want to know how the audience reacted. Someone had said, oh, I bought the meatballs last night and they were absolutely awesome. That was a really nice thing to hear because, you know, we've become kind of faceless because of COVID really, you know, so we're actually able to put a bit of humanity into our online. I want to know what you think is different with this new campaign that will change your social media going forward. So we can take this much, much further. We can pull the demographic out, we can pull the radius out. You know, we have all the skills now to apply it to many other parts of our business. Good. And with that, I'm going to leave you. It's so good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe um, and good luck with the business. I hope it goes so, 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 so well. Take care. Bye-bye. Be sure to use Instagram's tools to get your audience excited about daily offerings and build a ritual where they come back every day. I am so happy to see yet another success story. Giovanna welcomed us to her table and saw real results with her ad campaign, and I cannot wait to see more.